Hello everyone, Brennick is here, Retro Roots, get the root of all gaming. Um, today we're working on a 2015 Chevy Silverado uh, V8 four-wheel drive. Uh, I think it's the work package. It's pretty basic uh, baby four-door. So <clears throat> I installed this Rough Country uh, push bumper and it came with some a light bar and two flush mount lights. And I was <clears throat> combing the internet trying to figure out how exactly to get through my firewall and everything. And the only videos I saw was either of a, two, a 06, a 2014, and 2020. The 06 was irrelevant to me. The 2014 uh, was saying that you needed to go through uh, this grommet right here. Um, that you, It's got a nipple on it that you cut and then you take a clothes uh, hanger and force it through and there's a grommet on the other side that you have to force through and then it butts into an electrical box right behind it that you have to undo with like three 10 millimeter bolts um, and then you can barely squeeze your little fingers in there and grab it and pull it through and I'm going to tell you I'm a fat guy with a short temper so like hanging upside down underneath my steering wheel trying to Weasel my little sausage fingers uh, behind a box. Yeah, that ain't me. So um, I checked the forums and everything, and I found this one guy who was talking about using a grommet in the door. And so I'll kind of, and, and I didn't see, he had like three photos of it, and they weren't very helpful at all. Like, it was like, where's Waldo? So um, after some painstakingness, of figuring out exactly what I was supposed to do. I was like, oh, this is super cool. So like once I knew exactly what was going on, it took me probably 15, 20 minutes to do it. So I'll show you what I got. So, all right, starting right here with the lights. I still got to zip tie everything and do everything. All right, so I'm right here at the battery and then we'll come across again. I'm gonna zip tie everything. So these are my two uh, pretty thick uh, cords from the factory rough country kit. So they go in right here. You can see right there with the, uh, their, ah, my big fat hand. They go in right there. And they go up through the fender. And I'll show you on this side. So, well, helps me unlock my truck, huh? All right. <clears throat> so now, they, I'll show you the grommet I removed. Is this little guy, inch and a half inch? Anyway, all right, so right here, it comes out of, so we saw it in the fender, it comes through this little hole right here, and then underneath, oh man, all right. You can see there's this little, that's the best angle I can get, guys, but it goes from right there to literally this hole between, um, the top door hinge and uh what i believe is the probably the wires for the door controls um you can kind of see it going in there and then it comes out underneath behind your brake pedal there's a little there's a hole that it comes out of and then around right here to my switches that i still have to run into my dash so um it, once i figured out um, cause in his video, he was only showing this hole right here. And I was like, and I was trying to stick my wires through it and it was kicking it down inside my truck. I didn't realize that it had to go from there to here. So, um, once I figured that out, so, and mine has the, well, I kind of, they're kind of back there, but they have the connector plugs. Um, and the connector plugs fit through both holes. So it wasn't just wire, it was actually the, the little uh, waterproof connectors, uh, three pin. <clears throat> so what I did was I took a clothes hanger and straightened it out and I stuck it through that back hole and ran it out the, the hole in the fender I showed you and just take my wires, take one wire at a time to it with uh, electrical tape and then I pulled it through and got it into this got it through this hole and then I fed it through the next hole. And if you're running multiple wires, you might run into this. So one wire went through perfectly. Well, then I pulled the other one through and as I started feeding it through this hole, the bottom hole right here, it, um, it kept bounding up like it was hitting the other wire and like curling up or whatever. 
So I pulled the first wire out a little bit, taped it, taped the secondary wire to it, then pulled it through and it came through pretty good. So um, I'm pretty happy with it because the other one was talking about moving this box, like this box right here has 10, mm, 10 millimeter bolts. You have to pull it out and squeeze your hand back here and try to do some stuff. And yeah, that just ain't me. So anyway, um, I hope this helps. I didn't see a video for this on YouTube, so I thought I'd make a thought I'd make one, but it's pretty clean. Like I said, once I figured out what I was doing, it took me probably 15 minutes. And you can see the wires come out right here. And I just got to zip time up here and everything. All right. Hope this is helpful, guys.